If you're like me and you've searched the internet for an instructions on how to install the EDFC motor extenders, you've probably come up with nothing. So I'm going to make my own video here. Uh, so first of all, you've got to take off your uh, top adjustment clickers with the supplied little teen uh, spanner. and they'll just unscrew straight out of the top of it. And once you've taken them off, you'll get a 3mm Allen key and put that down into the hole and undo the little Allen bolt that's inside there and remove that completely. Now you don't need that little bolt in there for the uh, motor extenders, so take that out, put it aside somewhere, don't lose it. You might need it later. Then put some grease in that hole. The EDFC motor kit comes with a little bag of grease. So use that one. And apply some thread locker to the outside threads of the um, shock absorber. It com comes with the kit as well, the thread locker. Now get the little uh, nut that comes with the motor extension kit and just thread that on top and they tell you in the instructions to torque it down to uh, 30 newton meters so I got a little torque wrench, it's a 19 millimeter socket and um, torqued it down to 30 newton meters And then there's uh, this little shaft which goes in next. So put some grease on the shaft. And just slide that into the hole. I think the technical name for that shaft is called the conversion rod. I'll put some grease on the top of it as well. You never have too much grease. And then once that's on, you get your top adapter. And you push the, the top adapter on and then fasten it with the split pin or the clip that it comes with. Push that in there. And then next you can thread your uh, extender on. Just pull the, the shaft out of the middle of it first and uh, tighten it on. Thread it on the end there. And then we'll push that uh, center rod back in in a moment. Then get your uh, drive shaft and put some grease on the end of it. Put grease on the threads and on the ball. And push that back into the uh, outer sleeve. Once you've got that in, then you can work on uh, putting your motor onto the actual extension shaft. So put some more grease down into the end of that tube. And then just screw your uh, motor gently on the, on the end. Now you can use thread locker on the end of these threads, but um, I don't know if it's 100% necessary because you're going to be... Um, uh, attaching the motor to a bracket or something, uh, something solid, so the motor's not going to be able to turn around and unscrew itself anyway. So I think it's uh, optional. Now test to make sure that your motor uh, can spin freely in both directions by using a screwdriver in the end of it. And then it's just about finding a nice spot that's solid to mount the motor onto. Thanks for watching.